Oh, I've waited all day to taste the succulent of your delicious meat. It looks so beautiful. Excuse me, boss, it's Ayatsi. Damn it, man. What is it that you have to interrupt me for the second time this week while I try to eat my chicken sandwich? I told you, Ayatsi. Bless you. No, that wasn't a sneeze, it's Ayatsi. I don't see what the hell you're mumbling about. Well, it's the International Alliance of Stage and Theatrical Employees and there's been a lot of chatter about a strike. Chatter about a strike, huh? I don't see how that really affects us. I mean, we will lose millions, but we have hundreds if not billions of dollars to fall back upon in our fat cat pockets. Well, the last time when the Writers' Union went on strike, it took years for us to recover from the halt that the industry came to. The Writers' Strike, huh? Well, that was a simple fix. That's why we came up with all these influencers and started making normal people famous. What could be the meaning of this strike? They want more money? More craft services to feed their fat bellies? Hmm. Well, don't just stand there with your tail between your legs, man. Tell me what it is that they want. Well, sir, it's really not that much. They just want better working conditions. They want less strenuous hours, more rest time between work hours and, uh, uh... Damn it, man, I don't have time for this. I have a chicken sandwich that I've been looking forward to. And I have plenty of movies to sell and buy for pennies on the dollar and make millions. I say let these babies have their so-called strike. They don't realize how easy they have it. They work five months out of the year, less than many other people, yet get paid twice as much if not more. And the rest of the year they have all that free time to do what they will. These damn people are ants, but less efficient. With technology and time, we will soon be able to replace all of them. <laughs> oh, I haven't forgotten about you. But sir, these people have families to feed. They have girlfriends with wives on the side to support. And have you no mercy? Mercy is for the weak. I spat on them. Now get out of my office, cause I have plans later to drive through the homeless neighborhood with all the poor children in my truck filled with glorious toys so they can get a glimpse of what they will never have. Yes, right away, sir, but, but what about the Kardashians? Surely those bitches don't need any more money. Oh, absolutely not. They most certainly don't. But all the employees who put it together and record their annoying yet contagious personalities won't be able to air new episodes if they're on strike. The Kardashians? Have you gone insane, man? We must negotiate with these peons. I don't know what the hell I would do if I can't watch new episodes of these annoyingly yet intriguing bitches. I don't know. We will give them the catering from the in and out truck. These animals cannot turn down the delicious taste of these burgers and fries. Excuse me, but the in and out truck doesn't serve fries, sir. <laughs> Aha. Aha. What, sir? Listen, boy, learn from in and out giving those animals what they think they want, the delicious burgers and those crappy chips from the truck, all while leading them back into the in and out store for more. I don't quite get it. Exactly. That's why I'm up here and you're down there. Animals do not bite the hand that feeds them, except that damn gerbil that bit me like three times, but he was so cute. That's besides the point. Get out of my office and fix it. Right away. The 
cycle continues. I just can't give up those damn Kardashians. Only until the next great thing comes along and replaces them. <laughs> now, where was I?